Howdy champs, my name is Mohidan People. Today I'm going to talk about modernizer uh, JavaScript library. Now this library has been around since a long, long time people. Uh, what does it actually do? It allows us to use uh, CSS3 features across all the browsers. Basically it checks if a certain browser supports uh, a certain CSS3 feature or not and if it finds that it doesn't then it adds a class to the HTML tag and then using that class that's been added only to those browsers that do not support that uh, specific CSS3 or HTML5 feature using that class we can style our document in such a manner that it will be visible uh, in that browser too so for you know for uh, making sure that browsers that don't support certain CSS3 features should uh, you know should display uh, in in such a manner that the feature you know should should uh, maybe uh, you know a fake element should be there to support that CSS3 feature which is lacking in fact let me straight away start off with the browser preview now this is Google Chrome people this is a gradient a linear gradient uh, going from top to bottom green to dodgy blue we can see it out here gradients uh, CSS3 gradients are not supported in IE9 7 and 8 if I bring up Opera, we see that it's supported out here, out here too. And if I, I'm sorry, if I uh, bring up IE, it's supported out here too. Why? Because this isn't a really a code gradient; it's an image gradient. If I bring the, uh, you know, the uh, the browser up, rather the uh, local side folder up, we'll see that I'm using an image called fallback.png of the size 400 400px. Uh, this is actually displaying in IE not the code uh, gradient. Now how was the uh, browser able to detect uh, that uh, it doesn't support uh, a CSS gradients was through this JavaScript library called modernizer. They detected that I does not support uh, uh, linear gradients and hence we wrote the CSS in a way to ensure that instead of fallback image should present itself to the viewer. So there was no loss of uh, the final display to the viewer. Okay, so this is what modernizer is. Modernizer gets answers from the uh, the different browsers as to whether they support a certain HTML5 or CSS3 feature or not. And in case they do not, it adds a certain class. In our example, no CSS gradients to the HTML5. Uh, uh, to the HTML tag and then using that class we can style our documents in a manner to um, get the result which ensures that all browsers look the same when they display a certain element. That is what modernizer is. Let's in fact uh, for a minute read some literature of the website modernizer.com. So Modernizer is a JavaScript library that detects HTML5 and CSS3 features in the user's browsers. So it will fetch yes or no from the browsers, you know, Boolean answers from the browser. It will come to know whether that feature is actually uh, supported or not. And once it finds that the feature is not supported, it will add a class to the HTML5 element. And then using that class, we can style our documents to get the desired result. Uh, if I click on this link which says documentation getting started, let's read that too. Okay, so what is Modernizer? It's a small JavaScript library that detects the availability of native implementations for next generation web technologies, features that stem from HTML5 and CSS3 specifications. Many of these features are already implemented in at least one major browser, most of them in two or more. And what Modernizer does is very simply tells you whether the current browser has this feature natively implemented or not. Right. And notice it says it adds classes to the HTML element that explain precisely what features are and are not natively supported. And these classes then work in our favor. We use those classes and then design uh, or style a document in such a manner that it looks the same in all browsers or more or less the same in uh, all the browsers. 
just the way I had actually shown you that in IE 9, 7, uh, 8 and 7, I uh, used a fallback image rather than use the code gradient because the code gradient wouldn't render out at all. In fact, let me uh, bring up the code for you. This is uh, um, Sublime Text 2. And uh, let's look at the HTML, uh, you know, the HTML first or the, uh, let's peep inside the body of the document first, so div with an idea of box. And the box is defined out here, height of 400, width of 400, a perfect square. And a background of uh, linear gradient green to dodge a blue. We have uh, dash webkit dash window prefix for um, Chrome and Safari webkit browsers. Okay, this is plain vanilla statement. So if this doesn't work, this will. And if this doesn't work, this will. So this is background shorten property. Uh, ideally, I should use dash mouse dash dash or dash uh, window prefixes too. Just for simplicity's sake, I'm skipping it. Right. Now, uh, also notice that I'm uh, tying the document up with the modernizer.js file, which was this one. How did I get it? I'm going to talk about it very soon. So using the script tags after the style tags, I'm tying it up with the modernizer.js JavaScript library. Right. Now, I told you that uh, CSS gradients don't work with IE978. Let's check that out. Temporarily, let me just remove this class. Let's say uh, a cutout here. Let me save the document up. Let me again bring up IE. Let me just refresh. And you see it's not supported uh, with IE9. This is IE9. If I press F12 and uh, show you IE7 and 8, it's not supported out there too. Right. <coughs> so what's the solution? It's modernizer. And how do you implement it? You see, hmm, uh, let's press F12 once again. You see, because a modernizer, a class called no CSS gradients, this class has been automatically added to the HTML5 tag. Notice that there's no such class out here. We just have a language attribute. But out here, if we examine the element, uh, it's, it's ha it has been added because of modernizer, no CSS gradients. Then using this class, I can actually style the document in such a manner that the gradient will render out in IE2. You see the language um, attribute is there, but the class, no CSS gradients is not there. This is going to be very useful to us. Let's examine Chrome. Mm, yep, let's inspect the element. We have a class called CSS gradients, not no CSS gradient. Okay, let's examine uh, Opera, inspect element. Again, it has the class CSS gradients and not no CSS gradients. So we need that class no CSS gradients because that's letting us know that CSS gradients is not supported. And then we can style the document in such a manner that the gradient is going to display. So let me add this bit of code that I removed a while ago. So, if the HTML has a class of no CSS gradients, which then contains a box, this is the box people, a div basically, then instead of using the, the, the code gradient, use a background image gradient or the fallback image, which is actually this one, right? So, um, you know, we, we detected through uh, the uh, modernizer JavaScript library that this class no CSS gradients had been attached to the HTML document. We got an answer uh, no from the browser using a modernizer and then use that class in our favor. So let me just save the document up, bring uh, IE and let's refresh and we'll see the gradient appear back. But this time it's a it's an image, not a code. Now people, the next question is how did I actually get, uh, you know, how did I get the, the JS file or the modernizer file? It's very, very simple actually. So I just went back, let's go back to the modernizer site. I clicked on the, the download link, all right? And uh, the only feature that I needed to support was CSS uh, gradient. So no need to check all the other options out. So make sure that your JS is slim, right? Make sure you support these extras. The, this is support for HTML5 shift. That ensures that the HTML5 elements are supported across older browsers like 8, 7, and 6 in IE. Right, so you can keep these uh, these options on, but the only feature that we need to support is CSS gradients and or CSS reflections. So there's no need to check all the uh, check boxes. Only this one that'll keep the uh, you know the uh, JS file slim. Click on the generate button. 
you may choose not to minify the source but it's best to keep it on unless you want to go through and read through the code okay click on the download button you'll get the js file i actually got the js file i renamed it it had a suffix that i removed okay i renamed it to modernizer uh that's how you actually use modernizer people right and indispensable tool no doubt so people i hope you found this information useful you would uh, use modernizer a lot let me know how you found this tutorial uh subscribe to my channel if you still haven't uh, please do comment i love to hear from you let me say that again i love to hear from you positive or negative but i really love to uh, hear suggestions from you and appreciations too at times uh, you have a good day bye bye peace